since the birth of the Wall to Wall Country Show, which is now uh, almost a year old. We've had the opportunity to uh, get in touch with some great artists and get them on board here and have the opportunity to talk to them. And we're very, very excited and uh, pleased to have uh, today uh, all five of you, all five members of uh, Chasing Crazy on board. Please, everybody, make wel- welcome my new friends, uh, the guys of Chasing Crazy. Are you guys there? Yes, we are. Yay! Hi. We're Chasing Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are crazy. In the very short period I've had the opportunity to talk to you guys, I believe that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's five of you. Why don't you go around the room and do that little uh, thing we were saying about your name, where you're from, and then um, maybe we could get into, like, it sounds like you guys are kind of from different directions, how you all kind of got together. So uh, go for it, guys. Cool. Well, hey, I'm Forrest Miller. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. My name is Travis Spencer. I play drums. I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm Cray Reef. I'm from Charlotte Courthouse, Virginia, and I play keys and guitar and sing. I'm Landon Parker. I'm from North Carolina, and I play acoustic guitar. I'm Jimmy James Hunter. I'm from Sacramento, California. Wow, you guys are from all over the place, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was pretty wild how we all got together. It was just through, you know, mutual fans and playing around town. Um, I, Jimmy James Hunter, I moved uh, when I was 16 and met Forth and Travis, and, uh, Travis was a little bit older, went on and did his freelance gigging, was on the show in Nashville, new episode tonight on ABC. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and then, of course, I started a band and then reconnected with Trav, and I found Landon on countrymingle.com. We had a lot in common together. We matched. <laughs> no, no I, I found him on YouTube through a mutual fan, and then uh, a Cray also was introduced to us through a mutual fan. So we've been rocking for, you know, a little bit over a year now, and we're it's a brotherhood, but we definitely organically put together. It wasn't. An artificial, you know, yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. Now, Hunter and, and... Miller? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you two you two were the original two, though. You guys got it started? Yeah, we uh, we were first in a band, and it was called the Westwood Kings, and that was this project, but we thought that sounded like an old man bowling team, so we decided Chasing Crazy was a little better. And you guys all came up with that, you did, with the name. How did you come up with that? Were, did you do that when you were still just the two of you or when you were all together? Uh, I think we were all just, well, Cray wasn't in the band just yet, but I wrote a song with some friends, um, there were some songwriters in town, and we, it was a song called Chasing Crazy, and it's pretty much just about how everybody has their own version of Chasing Crazy, no matter what your job is, and this happens to be ours, so. Yeah. And we are, we, we are crazy, and we do crazy stuff. So. <laughs> a little bit little bit now you guys all are you all living in nashville now because i know some of you kind of transplanted there yeah we are all living here um you know a couple different places around town we actually uh, a few of us live in the same house together okay in fact it's uh, it's a crazy house (laughs) (laughs) yeah forrest jimmy and and landon we all live together we actually all just had our 20th birthdays within a week of each other wow congratulations and happy birthday thank you thank you (laughs) <laughs> wow! Travis and Trey are the older, the older brothers, you know. Oh yeah, the wise one. Okay, so you guys, you got together, and then um, you guys kind of got hooked up with your um, record people, and you guys decided to uh, do some touring. Now, you guys, you go, you all had the record, you all had the music experience of going out and doing some shows, and and getting some of that exposure underneath your belt. When you got together, did you find that that worked out? You know, just as easily, once you guys kind of, like, got together, you, you kind of figured out where you're going to go and how you're going to do things? Yeah, I mean, we, like you mentioned, when we all come from musical backgrounds, and, um, I mean, we were really comfortable with, you know, performing live, playing shows. It's what we all love to do, and so, um, you know, a couple of guys were freelance um, guys. This is Travis talking. And I was a freelance cat myself, and then, you know, a couple of the other guys had solo uh, careers going for them, and then, you know, we all just come together as a band and all equal members, and I mean, it, it, it worked out, um, you know, pretty easy as far as uh, getting the, the arrangements done. And um, I mean, we have we have a good time. Do you guys all do all of you write music? Yeah, we all write. You guys all write. So when you put a, a music down, you guys are putting it together. Did you write um, the the two songs that we're going to feature today? Uh, th- that's how we do summertime. Did you guys write that one? Uh, that's how we do summertime. Was written by Matt Ramsey. He wrote "Wake Up Love" and "You Can't Stop." Uh, I think Dirk Bentley's new single, Say You Do. And he's just on fire lately. Okay. So. Well, Adam Parker himself is on fire. He uh, he actually uh, penned 
uh, our, our, our new single, Smack Dab, with none other than Danny Myrick, who wrote She's Country. Okay. Yeah, it was really awesome. <laughs> and the lovely, lovely Drew Davis, good friend of ours. Manages real COVID. Mm-hmm. Are you guys going to put together an album and, and release a, release an album all together? Yeah, it's actually, we have an EP that's in the works right now. Um, we're just making the final touches. And then, actually, our show is coming out on Great American Country. And so about the same time that our um, two episodes are released on that a little bit, maybe in a few weeks, we're probably going to release the EP. Oh, cool. Okay. And how many tunes are on the EP? Six. Six. I believe. Six or seven, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, it might be a bonus track. I'll not fool you. Uh, you. Okay. And how can people get their hands on your music, guys? Uh, iTunes, Spotify. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. The website. Just go to chasingcrazy.com. And oh. make sure you uh, stay tuned to Great American Country for our show coming out. It's actually called Chasing Crazy. Pretty original, I know. No. <laughs> And what is that about? Is it? Is it you? How, what? I'm on. I hate to say I've not watched the show. So what? What is it about exactly? No, it's, we it's a, yeah, we haven't actually seen it yet either. It's, um, the two pilots are going to air uh, coming out pretty soon. It's pretty much it's like a mix between the old monkeys from the '60s, their show, and then Duck Dynasty, a little <laughs> bit of Jersey Shore because we go tanning. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's just like us doing crazy stuff, touring. The country and crazy. So it's kind of like a, a like a reality show of, of what you guys do on a <laughs> regular basis. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it is a reality show. I mean, it's it's kind of following us around. You know, as a young band, um, you know, basically trying to make a go in the music scene in Nashville. So, you know, we won't give away too much of it, but it's basically you know following us around on the road and you know basically uh, giving you an insight to our beginnings. Okay. And also what our life is like in Nashville. You know, we all live here, and it's a great city. And, you know, lots to do. Now, are you guys working on uh, doing a, a tour and, and getting out and uh, doing some uh, doing some touring across the country? Yeah, we're doing some stuff here and there right now, but we can't wait to get out there more and, you know, just go and play all the time. Keith, if you're listening, uh, I would love to have you pick us up. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink, I heard no you've been actually listener to your show. So <laughs> there you go. So okay, so I, uh, when you guys are, you guys have been doing some stuff out there together, though. Obviously, you guys have been performing and doing some stuff out there. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah we actually just got back from Vandy Hospital playing for the children. Okay. And um, we're heading to Vegas this weekend, and then we're headed to San Diego to play for Big and Rich and Maddie and Tay next week or two weeks from now. Oh, that that's yeah, been fun. Op- yeah, we've been opening for Big and Rich on a few days, and then uh-huh. going down to Georgia. We just played in Augusta, Georgia, with Maggie Rose. Okay. And American Young, and that was a really hell of a hell of a show. Thompson Square coming up. Oh yeah, we're going up to New York playing um, with Thompson Square and Dana Kramer. Hey, if you guys aren't that far, uh, you know Pennsylvania and New York are right next to each other. I know, we'd love to Very come to Yeah, we would. Yeah. No, if you can fit it in your schedule, I, I tell all my artists this. The doors are always, always open for all the artists. You guys are more than welcome to make a make a splash here in Pennsylvania. Actually, depending on where you are in New York, um, tops, two and a half hours, two hours, hour and a half, depending on where you are. We're going to be in Long, Long Island. Island. We're going to yeah. be on Long Island. Depending on traffic. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's about two and a half hours to, to the city. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, yeah, we might have to go up to the Hamptons, you know, say what's up to Jay-Z and Yase, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, just uh, keep that in mind. Let, let, just kind of let April know that, too. I mean, it's like, hey, you're not that far. You got an extra day. You want to swing by? That would be awesome. Um, so uh, so when you guys are out there and you're, and you're performing, and I like to ask this question because I find it's very, very different on the artist when, you got, when everybody answers this one. Um, when you guys are up, uh, what do you guys... Do you guys do kind of like the same show all the time uh, when you're doing your stuff? I, or are you kind of those kind of guys who kind of roll by the seat of your pant kind of thing, depending on the crowd and this and that and the venue and all that? Or, or are you pretty regimented in how you do a show? I mean, it really just depends on the crowd. You know, we we, we try to keep it different, you know. It just depends. So we can't be playing pull your hair back whenever there's a bunch of little kids around. <laughs> but... <laughs> Um, uh, you obviously don't know what that song is, but no. it's skinny dip and it, oh, okay. it's just. But I don't know. It just depends on the crowd. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Ray? 
Yeah, I mean, it definitely changes from city to city, too. I mean, you know, it, it's all about the audience, really. I mean, you know, age varies, you know, location varies. Different people have different interests. and um, You know, we, we try to make a unique show for, you know, every audience that we have. we we got to keep it fresh. Yeah, sounds good. Now, when you guys are doing your song, like, that's how we do summer, which or summertime, uh, and the audience is obviously knows who you are and knows your music, are they out there singing it with you? Or when you look out into the audience, are they, like, just kind of, like, hammering out there with you? Yeah, and we always try to get them involved. You know, we get the crowd singing on whatever we can, get them clapping, you know, just get, make them part of the show because they're as much of a part of it as we are. So, And it's an unbelievable feeling to have, you know, in specifically that's how we do summertime. We all break down, and I say, that's how we do summertime. And then they, like, all sing it back, and it's like, Unbelievable. So we do that, you know, six, seven times. Depends on the show. You know. <laughs> and then we all come back in, and it's, no, it really is cool. And, and the more we play, the more so- I mean, even songs we haven't even released, there are some major fans who are, like, <laughs> mouthing along somehow. Yeah. And it's like, how do you? It's, it's been incredible. I don't even know this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just learned this stuff. That's pretty interesting. Now, you are you guys big social media butterflies? Are you guys, like, all over the social media scene? <laughs> Oh, yeah. We're on Twitter, Instagram, <laughs> Snapchat. We're yeah. about, about it. Facebook, yeah. Vine, Tumblr, the work. MySpace, if you can. Lit up your MySpace. Do you guys answer? Uh, you know, I, mean, I, I know, you know, sometimes artists are really busy and they have a hard time keeping up with it, but, like, if a fan wrote something to you on Facebook, would you be, uh, like, the people answering, or is it, like, this infamous, quiet somebody behind no, the brick wall? No, we definitely answer any any question that's asked. We're always there's never going to be a time when we're too busy to talk to our fans. I mean, I know that sounds really cheesy, but it's true. Like we, we all run, yeah. Mm-hmm. And we do have five guys on on our Twitter. So sometimes we'll be tweeting like back to back. Yeah, you're going to get five answers. <laughs> Well, that's pretty cool. But it's not cheesy. You know, I mean, uh, here's something that I can tell you from talking to artists, uh, you know, for the last couple of years. Uh, The day that you forget that, the day that you forget how you got to where you're going is the day that, in my mind, you should stop singing. Because I I find 99% of the artists don't forget that. 99% of the artists still treat their fans exactly what they are, which is basically what's paying your paycheck in a roundabout way. You know, but that sometimes, it's every, it's not, and again, it, once in a blue moon, but you have artists who just forget that, and they don't want to do interviews, and, they, and they're too busy to do this or too busy to do that. And if I can give you guys a piece of advice, don't ever think that that's a cheesy thing. You guys need, you know, that's where it's, that's what it's all about, is your fans, man. Yeah, absolutely. It's worth that. And, and we uh, have, you know, each other to keep each other grounded. So when one guy starts getting a little cocky, you have four brothers to kind of, beat them back into, you know, beat them back into humility, so. Yeah. Well, don't, yeah, keep that in mind. I mean, that if I can give you any kind of advice, I mean, I and I've seen it. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've I've, I've watched it happen. Oh, well they're, well, they're too busy to do an interview, or they're too busy to do this, or they're too busy to send out a T-shirt or a CD. Uh, those are the ones that are, you know, I'm like, man, dude, you're missing the boat. You're totally missing the boat. And social media is so big today. And, and, and I know there's good and bad about it. You know, sometimes people want to know a little bit too much about you. You know what I mean? They kind of want to delve in maybe a little too personal. But, you know, fans want to fans want to connect with you. Yeah, some of our moms are getting a request on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how you know you've made it. <laughs> that's cool. Our moms are all really supportive and awesome. So yeah. They're all about it. All right. They're a part of our fan club. They're the only members. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Why don't you tell me about a little bit about your song? That's how we do summertime because I'm gonna we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna come back with that. But I want to know a little bit of background about this. Like when you heard it, why why this song? There's a million summertime songs out there. Why why did this one become a chasing crazy song? You know, we we've, we've actually known this song for a long time. It's one of the the first songs that we started playing together and I think from the beginning it was just a song that we loved so much initially it was just so fresh and powerful and had such a great chorus so easy to sing along to and it's you know it's about somebody something that everybody can relate to which is just being you know with your friends having a great time and you know you don't want something like that to go away so 
Keep the summer rolling, man. Keep it rolling. Oh, yeah. Little chasing crazy for you right here on Penn's Peak Radio. And um, that's how we do summertime. And you know you got to do summertime loud and um, for fun. Right, guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it's the five boys of uh, Chasing Crazy, Landon, Travis, Jimmy, also Craig, um, and Forrest. And you guys, you guys got quite the, uh, quite the entourage of uh, different types of, of mu- musical instruments there. Oh, yeah. You indeed. We got it all. We got drums. There's a bass guitar in there. There's a couple guitars, acoustic, electric, you name it, keyboard, little fiddle. You guys do all your own music when you're doing the album cuts and stuff? Yeah, we, we, I mean, we play on some of it. We also bring in some studio guys, you know, the, the guys that play on your Carrie Underwood, your Jason Aldean, your Luke Bryan. You know, you got to get the, the sound right for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's all it was, Jimmy James, shredding on you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you forget it. <laughs> But you guys have plenty on your own there um, to, to do the shows. When you're doing your shows, do you have other uh, musicians with you, or is it just the five of you? Nope, it's just us five. Try to do it all, okay. including dancing. Including dancing? <laughs> you guys do yeah. choreography? That's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you guys keep talking about the flexibility thing. You know, I'm just asking. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> You know, you brought it up. Anyway, so cool. So you guys are out there on the scene. You're doing some good stuff. You're opening up with some other uh, bands that, you know, kind of will help you get out there more and more. you got some other music out. We've already heard the one. Now you've got a new song uh, that's out there. You want to tell us about this one? Is this, how, how long was this released? Was this fairly new? Yeah, it was actually just released like uh, a month or two ago. And I had the privilege of writing it with Danny Myrick and Drew Davis. And this is Landon talking, by the way. And um, so it's not really a single yet. Okay. So it's a, a new song that we have. A little taste, you know, on iTunes. Smack that. <laughs> <laughs> now, how'd you come up with that one? How did you write that, Landon? I don't know. We were out. We were outside at a writer's retreat. And uh, <laughs> we were out on a picnic table. And Danny just decided to write something about smack dab in the middle and so we just started writing it about a beautiful girl and about falling in love oh <laughs> oh you do it's have a sweet yeah. side <laughs> oh, yeah. we got a sensitive side we like to rock out though as well <laughs> is your ep gonna be a mix of that kind of maybe uh rocking out but maybe kind of a ballad thing or how's that gonna go can you give us any insight on that whatsoever yeah, it's going to be mostly up tempo, but we've got a couple, a uh, couple songs that are a little slower, a little romantic. You know, take you down by the beach, light a couple candles, yeah, some coconut water. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with Forrest, uh, actually Forrest, Landon, and Travis penned that one, and it's called uh, "Slip Away," and we did play that in the studio ourselves, and it's very, I can't tell you why, Eagles. Uh-huh. You know? It's that kind of California country rock sound it's really groovy thing <laughs> nice nice when uh, when when rpm came to you when these guys came to you did you uh how did you feel about that that had to be a pretty uh iconic moment when and scott and april you know knocked on your door and said hey we think you guys have some talent what kind of how did yeah i i had lived with one of scott's friends this is jimmy james um his name's david malloy he's a great great what really well-known producer in nashville <laughs> And they called and they said, what do you think about about doing this? The thing is, you have to put the band together. You have to find the guys, because it was just me and Bo. Right. You know? So, Forrest, that's what we call Forrest, Bo. Or Chip. Or Chip. <laughs> 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 he loves Chip. No, but, um, so it was really, it was, a, it was actually really hard at first to do this, honestly. It, was, it definitely tested our... Our friendship, which <laughs> has lasted through that. It's just our friendship. It's just, you know, <laughs> we're fine. We yeah. call him Chip now. It's <laughs> not no. But no, it was, it was definitely hard, but it, I'm glad we did it. And it, this is something that's missing from the, the country music scene. So I'm happy that we kind of jumped on it, and I hope you like it. Yeah. So, yeah, the music's great. Like I said, we've been playing that one for a while, and now we have this one. And we'll get this one in rotation for you, too. But uh, this is another one of these... Uh, 
Yeah, man. Hey, and as soon as that EP gets released, we'll try to get our hands on that, too. Um, are you guys going to, this is just a, a side note, when they do the EP, and I know it's like the easiest, can, more convenient way of doing it, so everybody can just buy it and download it and stuff like that, but are you guys planning on doing a hard copy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Vinyl. Mm-hmm. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about vinyl, but yeah, definitely CDs in the, in the stores, and hopefully. Well, keep me in mind when you get that thing done, send it off to me. Oh, we will, absolutely. Yeah, that would be awesome. Um, but, yeah, we've got another one uh, from Chase and Crazy, the boys of Chase and Crazy. Um, and they're not crazy at all. No, they're very mild. No. Very we're mild. Fine. Good boys. Good southern Thanks boys. Thanks for <laughs> uh, Don't go anywhere yet. We still have a little bit more to cover with these guys. Find out where they are, where they're heading, the kind of music uh, that they're going to be producing, and uh, how you can get your hands on it. So, yes, your fans learn the words quicker than you do. <laughs> no, I got them on. So it's interesting. But, yeah, I mean, they, they're, they're upbeat songs. They're good songs. They're, you know, stuff that you're going to be tapping the steering wheel when you're driving down the road, for sure, you know. And I think that the, the ballads have their place and stuff like that. But I think in today's country music, anything that you can tap your toe to, much less put a dance to it, um, you know, it's going to become popular. People are going to like it. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I like it. So, out of all the songs that you guys are doing, um, and I, I, I know this is kind of a weird thing to ac- ask a bunch of guys, but the question is, is are you going to be doing videos for them? Are you going to be getting the, the dance steps? You hire somebody to learn a dance step so they can send it out there? Because you know they're country people. They love their dance steps to their music. I'm not sure if we're going to do it. We've actually had um, some fans send us videos of um, them and, like, their dance Troops are like, you know, people who come in for a uh, line dance, and they actual, actually made a dance. They made a dance to Summertime. We haven't seen one uh, for Smack Dab yet, but it was awesome seeing that they, you know, put in that time and made something really cool for it. But for the Smack Dab, Smack Dab video, we probably are going to do some in-sync, you know, choreography, yeah. you know, Backstreet Boys, Temptations. We're just trying to, like, hit all the genres in dancing. Nice. Well, you know, and I think the thing that you can do with that, too, is, is, and you see it done, you know, you guys, maybe you want to put it out there for a prize pack or something like that, you know, have people submit their dance steps to one of your songs, and they could win a backstage pass or something. Yeah, and, you know, people are going to want to do it. They're going to be like, oh, that's my dance. So. (laughs) Good idea. No. Yeah, I get the royalties on that one, honey. <laughs> when that video hits and you start making money, don't forget about your friend over here. <laughs> we'll never forget about you. Awesome. Well, you guys have just been too sweet. And, and Carrie said the same. She's like, she comes in here, she's like, those guys are crazy. And I'm like, hence the name. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah. So, yeah, you guys have been a lot of fun. Now, before I let you go, I, I, I hate tying people up too long, but f- before I let you go, let's go over one more time how people can find you, how they can track you down, find out what's coming up, what's going on, when your EPs are released, when, when that series is going to be released. How, what's the easiest, best way that people can find out what's going on with Chasing Crazy? Uh, we're always on our Twitter and Instagram and uh, Facebook. Shows will get posted um, through the Bands in Town. Um, that'll be updated on Twitter and Facebook, as well as our website, which is www.chasingcrazy.com. Mm-hmm. No G. No G, because we're lazy and hip. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you, I mean, you can definitely keep up with us on there. Yeah, our uh, our username is at Chasing Crazy. Once again, no G, and that's the same thing for Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, I see yeah. that. I see on Facebook, I did, um, I posted something on our Facebook page, so if you would be so kind as to like us back, that would be awesome. Um, oh, yeah, you're going there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, and it's a good way, and it, I can see, you know, if you guys do do the response and stuff like that, that's always fun for people to know that you're actually the one answering their questions and finding out where you're going to be. Um, what's new? Is there something you can tell me that may not be completely out of the box, but, you know, a little teaser maybe for your Chasing Crazy fans? What's what's going to happen? What can we look forward to? Um, yeah, you know, like we said before, the TV show coming out later this fall on GAC and around the same time is going to be the EP. Uh, it's going to have a few uh, fun tracks from us and our, you know, we've 
been lucky to work with some awesome producers, Blake Chancey and Marty Fredrickson, so that'll be coming up real soon. And there may just be a Christmas song in the works for this Christmas. So get on your missile toes, That's how we do winter time. <laughs> That sounds like it would be a lot of fun. So there you guys go. Well, it's chasing crazy. I don't want to tie you guys up too much longer, but don't forget to find out more about their music. Get their music. Um, that's how we do Summertime. And that, of course, we just played their latest smack dab. Um, brand new stuff here on Penn's Peak Radio. Join in the Wall to Wall Country Show. I appreciate it so much. Always honored to speak to you guys. I wish you all the best of luck. Be safe on your travels out there. And remember, the doors to Penn's Peak Radio are always open to all of my artists. Well, thank you so thank much. You so thank, thank you, Brad. Thank you. Really, really, truly an honor. Thank you so much, all five of you, for taking time out of your crazy schedule. I know it's tough sometimes, so thank you. No, absolutely. Anytime. Yeah. All right. Bye. See ya. Bye.